Hello friends, Osiris here and this 7 star terror raid event for Swampert is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as the best builds to solo this with in your game. So as you can see, I am not in my usual studio. I'm actually in Bologna in Italy. I'm going to be casting the VG regionals at this special event regional this weekend. Very excited for it. If you're interested in catching any of the action, a shameless plug, you can check it all out on the Pokemon YouTube channel this weekend, as well as the Twitch channel that will be covering all of the action from VG, TCG and Pokemon Go. But without further ado, let's get into all of the details of this Swampert 7 star terror raid event so this one pit is running from the 31st of may until the 2nd of june this weekend as of its first phase it will return the weekend after this one for its second phase out from the 7th of june until the 9th of course the swamp will be level 100 it will have its hidden ability damp will have the moves earthquake hydro pump sludge wave liquidation with additional moves of muddy water and yawn it will have the mightiest mark it can never be shiny and will have that poison terror typing it will also have the relaxed nature as well and can only be caught once per save file so the item drops as usual with the seven star terror raid are going to be very good going to get a lot of large xl candies as well as poison terror shards and ability patches as well on top of this the more important thing like we're all wanting to concentrate on at the moment is the herba mystica drops they are returning with this seven star terror raid event and you'll have a three percent chance of any one of these herba mystica dropping with every time you beat the swamp pit. but there are all the details for the swamp pit. of course this is running like i say over this coming weekend from the 31st of may until the 2nd of june and returning on the 7th of june until the 9th and that second time out it will be returning alongside the blissey five star terror raid events so to access this event in your game you're going to need to make sure that you are connected to the internet and once you are come into your menu screen come to poker portal and then head down to the mystery gift section once you're in mystery gifts come down to your check poker portal news and once you've done this you'll get a notification saying that all of your red dents in your game have been updated so once you go onto the map you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid event which will look like this head over to it and you'll be able to get on with the raid event so the build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be slow bro it is going to be very similar to the one that we featured in our preview article earlier this week with some slight tweaks though it is going to be level 100 of course hyper trained make sure and all those ivs are set to 31 make sure that it does have the psychic terror type and the held item of the covert clock the moveset is going to be slack off make sure you pp max this option then with amnesia nasty plot stored power and the, the ability which doesn't really matter on the slow bro but the ev spread is going to be 252 in hp 252 in defense and the remaining evs put into special defense with a modest nature so that is the slow bro it'll be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at it after the video but we'll jump into the raid now i'll show you how easy it can be to run through Swampert with this Pokemon. So when you first come into the raid against the Swampert on turn zero before anything happens you're going to see the Swampert fire off a muddy water. Now because of our water typing we're not going to take too much damage from this and as well as the covered clock we don't need to worry about the secondary effect which is the accuracy being lowered um, on our slow bro which could be the one of the more annoying things that can happen early on in this raid. So turn one what we're going to do is lock in with an amnesia straight away that's just going to boost our special defense by two stages and make it able to take these sludge waves a lot better from the swamp but as you can see they can do a lot of damage because of the ev investment that we've got on our slow bro it means that it is going to naturally lock in with the sludge wave first because it's going to be doing more damage rather than the earthquake but the earthquake as you can see because of our uh, investment it's not going to be doing too much damage and also we do have the arcanine here with that intimidate it does help so if you do have an intimidate user as you go into the raid it is going to be a big bonus for you turn three we're going to lock in with a slack off just make sure that we are in a more healthy position you do see the swamp hurt steal some of our terror or power as well so it's going to delay us in being able to trislize but that's kind of fine to be expected now at this stage with plus two in our special attack plus two in our special defense we're just going to lock in with the store pass and try and chase down our trasalization and to the point where the swamper is going to set up its shield as well and then nullify the stat boosts on our side of the field because after that stage we can start setting up our stats 
stats ourselves, and it's going to be the only term that it nullifies our stats. So once we've got those stats set up, we're going to be in a really strong position to kind of go forward in the raid and uh, start chipping away at it. So we don't see the stats nullified just yet. We are going to get another stored power off, um, and that is going to be closer to the point of us going for that terrestrialization. Here we see the Swamp and Nullify the stat changes on our side of the field. After this stage, you want to lock in, first of all, again, with our Amnesia. We're kind of repeating what we did before here. So it is going to go for an Earthquake. You can see how handy these Intimidates have been for us so far with the Arcanine being knocked out, coming back in. One Amnesia set up, and what we're going to do is go for these three Nasty Plots. Now, the thing is here, you need to really weave in these Nasty Plots in between Slack Offs. Just keep an eye on your HP because if your HP is getting low you want to just make sure that you're in a really healthy position going forward in the match so just get a slack off when appropriate because you don't want to be wasting these boosts getting knocked out having to come in do this all over again just make sure you are in a healthy position as you are getting these three nasty plots set up because that is going to be the point where you're going to be able to terrestrialize after this and then do some really significant damage. So this will be nasty plot number two after we have got that slack off off, healed some of that damage off that we've taken from the swamp herd. And if you've got a partner that does have any status conditions like the belly bolt here as well, this is like the perfect combination of partners. We've got the paralysis, it is gonna make the swamp herd slow down a bit so we're not taking as much damage. So there's our third nasty plot as well. And we're gonna take another sludge wave. But before we do terrestrialize and fire off any more, stored powers we're going to get one more amnesia off that's just going to make sure that we are boosting the power of stored power as well so it's doing a lot more damage when we do get around to terrestrializing um and i think after one more stored power we should be in the position to be able to terrestrialize uh after that we should be able to break the shield and one more after that should hopefully be enough to take down the swamp herd we are going to see at one point throughout the raid a yawn fired off from the swamp herd as well it's random into any of the partner pokemon on our side of the field including ourselves if it does hit into you and you go to sleep the subsequent turn then just use a heal cheer uh, get rid of that sleep effect and then carry on as usual it's just going to be a thing that slows you down more than anything so we do lock in with that stored part after we've got those three nasty plots up our hp is in a pretty comfortable position we are plus six and plus four respectively across our special attack and special defense and we're at the point now where we can terrestrialize we're going to lock in with that and we are going to go for a stored power as well and this should be very close to breaking the shield if not breaking the shield it'd be very close to breaking it so this is what we would like to see hopefully the shield does break and then it will be one more stored part after that and uh, we'll be able to run through the raid and you can see how healthy the raid timer is at this stage as well it is in a very good spot we do take an earthquake of course the stats have been nullified from its side of the field so not doing a great uh, amount of damage but putting this in a more uh, precarious position we'll lock in with another stored power here and uh, we are going to take another earthquake for our trouble we probably would have been better off at that stage going for a heal chair to be honest uh, because now we're going to be breaking the shield we'll probably take a hydro pump for our trouble so we got a little bit greedy there where we are going to take probably a hydro pump muddy water and it might be enough to take us down but we actually get very fortunate and miss there so really a bit of an error on my side we should have went for a slack off before uh, the last turn and uh, not getting greedy just make sure you are in a more healthy position as we can fire off in that healthier position and uh, that final stall power you can see how uh, much time we've got on the raid timer and it's going to be that easy to take down the swamp bird having um, preferred raid partners is going to be uh, better but it's not necessary it's just going to mean that sometimes the raid's faster sometimes the raid's slower but the slow are going to be a very consistent option with this actual build and the move set and you can see you're going to get herba mystica drops here we get two bitter herba mysticas for our trouble and that is going to be a nice one you'll be able to catch the swamp bird if you haven't already in whatever ball you went for let me know in the comments what ball you chose i went for the beast ball i'm trying to collect all of them in the beast ball now going forward and that is going to be how easy the swamp herd is. If you come back onto your map and you want to do uh, more of the swamp herd from Far Herba Mystic over the weekend, you can open your map, hit your home menu, and then come down into your system settings, down into system, down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off. Click into date and time and just toggle through these options. Hit OK, hit your home menu, come back into the game, and all your dens should respawn and you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid again on your map 
and then you'll be able to head over to it wherever it is and start the process again and farm this event while it's running over this weekend. So friends, that is everything for today's video. I hope you found the video useful. If you have, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. It does massively help out the channel. And also let me know down in the comment section below if you've got your own builds, what has been successful to you to share with the community to make it easier for everyone that will be doing this raid event over the weekend and if you are farming it of course i hope you have a lot of good luck with us herba mystic if you want to stay up to date with all of our pokemon skull and Violet content here on the channel do subscribe to the channel and